Well, hello there, Footless. I'm in my old man's garage. It needs a lot of tidy up, as you can see, but um, I found some really old and cool stuff in here. Yes, the, the old Hoover. <laughs> and, you know, battery chargers and whatnot. What's interesting is this thing here. I'll come to this in a minute, and I believe... Um, oh, what's his bloody... Appy Droid will like this. He'll like this a lot if he sees this video. Um, but... What's interesting is I found all sorts of old <sighs> tools and technology, which is absolutely fascinating. Right, look at, oh god, look, like, look at this old tape measure. Look, mm. how cool is that? Like an old tape measure in leather. Wind it back up in it. I've got one hand, obviously. Um, you know, and old instructions for. Soldering irons. I know I've got a pair of Frodo brake pads. I've no idea what car they're for, but they are for. Watch oh, there's a fucking knife in here. Some sort. <laughs> My dad has got a massive tool kit, which was well, not massive, uh, with a load of stuff in. Um, but this is interesting. Like, he's got a newspaper here, which is literally the same age as me. Just put in here. Hang on. There it is. Which is dated like the, the 25th of June, 1982. And that's very close to, you know, Die Osborne, which is uh, July the 6th. So, and he used this to, you know, line his drawers to put all the tools on. So clearly he was setting it up just before I was born. I was obviously coming on my way. So as my wife jokingly said, he is probably looking for a place to get away from the damn baby. <laughs> which is me. But um, you know, he's got all, he's got a cool black and decker drill in there. That's sort of up to date really. But but yeah, I mean I found an old Casio watch, an old vintage Casio watch, which I'll, I've got watch batteries for upstairs. Upstairs, it's a bungalow up step. Um you see that's one step, which I'll put on it. But yeah, just all sorts of weird stuff. I mean, why he's got a timing gun for a car, he's got a timing gun here. If you work on cars, you know what that, what that is. If not, I can't be asked to explain. Brake pads for God knows they're kind of small though. I'm guessing for his old Austin All Agro Allegro, I'd imagine they're for. But yeah, what I found was interesting though was this. Dad went to Open University and did loads of fuck loads of Open University courses. His actual uh, job title was uh, before he retired, he was a flight simulator technician. You know, all the way from like the seventies up to well when he retired. So he saw the best graphics you could get. The hell's this? Oh, that's electric blankets. I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, that's for electric blankets. I've got some of them already. Sorry to change subject, but yeah, you got your typical WD forties and whatnot. It is a treasure trove of old stuff, if a bit disorganised, as you can see. And obviously, well, we've thrown a load of stuff in here too. Car doesn't fit in the garage anyway, so. What's it matter? There's a snow plow over there as well to shovel snow. There's just there's all sorts in there. I believe we've got there's even a dartboard in there somewhere. I'll have a look for But yeah, anyway, this is what I would like to show you. Anyway, this thing. And you haven't got any guesses as to what it is. I mean, I'm gonna tell you, but this is cool as fuck. And I'm wondering if uh It'll make any difference whatsoever if you like believe in ITC. Well, don't believe in it. I know ITC works. I've got proof it works. But what I'm trying to say is believe this would make any fucking difference. Why would it make any difference? Just because it's old and that person has touched it. If you know what I mean. You know, why would that make a difference if you're trying to contact someone from the other side? So to say. And anyone laughing who doesn't believe in ITC and stuff, I cannot prove to you I'm talking to anybody that is dead. I cannot prove to you I'm talking to anybody that thinks it's some sort of demon. What I can prove to you is fucking intelligence. Intelligence is there and it's not just oh fluke upon finding a word that fits my narrative. I'm telling you this shit doesn't, it works just not very often but when it does it works. I promise you. Anyway if you are regular and you know what's what this and I've probably given it away by saying that is a radio. It's a very simple radio that Dad's made on Open University. I think the logo's... There's the logo, look. It's obviously from the 70s, I'm guessing. Late 60s, maybe. I don't know. It's the Open University logo. Right there where my finger is. That wire's in the way. That black wire's over it. But yeah, it's the Open University logo anyway. 
That's the area on top, if you like. Well, it's obviously an AM radio then, which is good because AM is where I've got all of my best evidence. I've actually caught nothing on FM because it's just too strong of the radio stations that are too close together, give them bleed over and don't work. Um, but yeah, what I've got to do is attach a 9 volt battery and stick this very old thing in your ear. Yeah, I know, isn't it? And uh, yeah, I have a personal spirit box in effect. To, to use it like a spirit box, you just go one way and the other way. Just keep doing that. Unless that's volume. If that's volume, this is fucking useless and it's tuned to one fucking station. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll let you know. If that's the case, it's fucking useless. If that's volume. I'm hoping it's just one volume, you know, and you just go through the station now because that's kind of short. I thought it'd turn a bit further so that might be volume that's volume that's okay i haven't but who knows but i just i mean even if it's it can't be used for anything like that. it's fascinating though isn't it it's finding old stuff you know when you go through someone who's passed away all their old stuff like you know especially if it's like old like say oh look there's the open university logo you can see it now trf radio that's got to be tuning surely rather than a volume but yeah mad isn't it so yeah, i just found that like i said i just thought i'd uh document it and show you and um once I get all my kit over, move from my old house to here, like all my other spirit boxes, you know, I put it in my collection with them, the ones I've got, and um, get it a try. I have to amplify it for you guys to hear, obviously, because it's just going to sit in my ear, and me, you know, saying, oh, yeah, I can hear it say, I'm dead on here, you know, me just talking, you're not going to believe me, are you? So I'd have to amplify it, wouldn't I, for you guys to hear it. But, yeah, I've got enough wiring in that to fix my um, Bang & Olsen stereo, which the rabbit has chewed through every single wire on it, and then that eventually comes over. But yeah, I need I need this wheel thing sorted because I can't afford I physically can't even afford to fucking move yet. It's ridiculous. I've moved in principle but not officially and properly, you know. Anyway. Take care for this and I'll catch you real soon. I just thought you'd find that fascinating. Sorry I can't show you at working yet because I don't have a nine volt battery to hand uh, around. I found some paraffin lamps as well, two little paraffin lamps, which are quite cute because my my mum and dad had a really big one, a really nice paraffin lamp with um it's sort of like got a white glass shade on it and then a lovely glassy transparent glass, you know, um tube or chimney, whatever you want to call it. Um, but these ones are tiny, two little tiny ones, which are really cool. They're at step. Um, maybe I'll show you those another time, because, you know, in the garage, don't walk up step, because, um, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in a bit, and, um, yeah. It's bloody messy in here, isn't it? Very disorganised, but um, fascinating stuff. Amazing what you find in these sorts of things and tools and that. But I just thought that, and the Casio watch as well is... is kind of cool that's very retro and it's a genuine one it's not like a remake of it i'll put a watch battery in it which i know i've got one that will fit i'm pretty sure i have I'll be a bit closer to him i guess take care much love see you real soon hopefully